friends, welcome to the first estate hauls of 2024. Woo woo! So excited. There was one last week, but just didn't really have anything, and it was like a half hour from the house, so I just couldn't bring myself to waste the gas. We were kind of meh. So this one, I went to two today, and it was much better. Anyway, if you're new to my channel, my name is Dusty, and this is Bake, Thrift, Decorate. Today is Thrift. So let's get started with the haul. First of all, the first thing I picked up, the very first thing, and I know it's weird, <laughs> is a ice cream scoop. And I don't know why, just I like the little nubbies on it and just something about the shape and the weight just attracted me to it. So yeah, what can I say? I like odd stuff. Then I picked up this beautiful little like a little music box that says Stardust on the bottom. Valentine Serenade, which is partly the reason I picked it up because it says Valentine and my birthday is Valentine's Day. But I'll give it a little whirl. I like the little cottage scene on it and it's just really sweet. So I'm actually going to give this to my best friend Marnie. So there you go. go from this way to that way so I know which I've shown you. Then I also got a candle snuffer. I already have a couple so I don't need it. I think I'm going to put it in my shop but it's got some nice detailing on it, nice weight to it. So let's see if I can show it to you a little bit there. Um, it does look like it has a little dent here which I find kind of funny. I don't know why. Then this music box I bought for myself, it's called Celebration of Love. And you can see the beautiful little flowers along the edge. And then the roses on top and the heart shape, which is perfect. But the thing about it, which look at the little rose in the bottom, is, is it plays Laura's theme, which is Somewhere My Love. So when I was a little girl, my mom had a music box it was a girl in a ball gown and it played this song and I still have it but she's up on a shelf it was actually a wedding gift and the feet that she rests on kind of broke so that's why I have her kind of up high but I used to listen to it when I was my mom would let me have it sometimes and I would put it near my ear and I'd listen to all the gears and the music turn when I was trying to fall asleep so it has very pleasant memories for me of my mom and my childhood so the fact that this is heart-shaped and it's that song, it's just, oh, it was like a little God wing today for me. Then this is a beautiful teapot. There's this side, then this side, which that in and of itself is really pretty, but the coolest part, let me show it so you can see it closer and see that side, which I do kind of have a thing for teapots. But the thing that really sold me on it is that it's musical. So when you have it sitting, it turns off. But then when you were to pick up the port, it plays T for two. Isn't that so cool? I just, I love musical things. Then I found this little girl. She is a jo Joseph original looks like she still has her sticker here and she's sitting and it looks like she's eating or mixing I think she's very charming and endearing and I love the nostalgic vintage quality of her I will probably be keeping her because there's just something about her it does look like her head had broke off and they glued it back on but to me that just adds to her charm so she gonna be for me. I did find another little lady. She kind of reminds me in some ways of like Laura Ingalls, Ma Ingalls, something about it like that. On the bottom it is marked, it says Wade, made in England, Marie, my fair ladies, fine porcelain. So she's pretty neat. I like all the little details and Kind of hard to see. I don't know if you can get a close-up of her face, but I 
think she's very beautiful. Then I found this. I like the painting on it. I would bet it's probably hand painted. I like the pictures of it. I just, I think it's a very sweet little picture, a picture, maybe a creamer. I don't know, but I like it. I like the detailing and the picture and the colors. I did also found how exciting for a whole dollar, a plate stand, because I do like these wooden ones and I do like my plate stands. So for a whole dollar, I will use that. Speaking of plates, I got myself this one. I know it's what is um, a Bradford Exchange. It's Friedrich the Literate. Perfect Places and Charles Wysocki, which all those things are all nice and wonderful. But what I love about it is, is there's a little kitty here and it's surrounded by books. Two of my most favorite things, kitties and books. So I can display that in my curio cabinets at different times, depending on the season. I like the name of some of the books. There's Holy Cats, How to Smell a Rat, Field Guide to Garbage Can, Three Mouseketeers, How to Catnap with a Smile, The Tale of Two Kitties. <laughs> so just a fun, sweet picture. And I, I can put that right now on my plate stand. Then I found these heavy pewter swan candle holders, the pair. They're kind of sweet, huh? Be nice for Valentine's Day, or if you like to collect birds or swans. And they're nice and heavy pewter. Then this, I don't know, doesn't really have any markings on it, but it's a candle holder. And I just, I love that you could kind of see through all the blue and the nice fun thing about it is you could take it out and add a candle there and have two separate candles or keep it layered like that but it has some like almost like tropical feel to it if you're a blue person and the sparkle and the, it's just i think it's a very beautiful flower candle holder then i found this little guy it's a I cannot pronounce it ladro, ladro, uh, something made, something made in Spain. Still has like the sticker here, but look at the detailing on him with his little collar, and look at that sweet little face. He's so sweet, and so cute. So couldn't pass him up. He needs a home, so look for him in my shop. Then I found, I'm not sure if this is a vase or a decanter that's just missing its stopper, but it's marked made in Poland. It's crystal because this thing is heavy, 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 heavy. So that's going to go in my shop. It would be a beautiful vase for flowers or dried flowers. Lovely. Then this piece is marked Royal, Royal Stafford. Bone China made in England 1845, marked 38. So I'm assuming it's a relish tray. Maybe you put carrots and celery on them. I just thought the pattern was pretty, it was unique. Something about it made me think of the 50s. So I like the little handle. So this is gonna go in my shop. If anyone's looking for a unique dish. Then I also found these set of four coasters. So we have a deer in a log cabin, a cardinal, and an evergreen. So the fun thing about these, you could use them at Christmas time because it does have the tree, but I think you could also use them in the winter time. I mean, why not? So nice ceramic coasters. So that was a good find. Then these, they're plastic, but I want to use them. I found, got three of them for Valentine's Day because of the heart shape and the purple color. And I think this one's a little bit more pink than purple, or maybe it's just faded. But I thought those would be fun to use at Valentine's. Come and ride around the corner. 
And then I know Christmas is over, but ABC always by Christmas. So these are for my Christmas tree next year. And once again, they're plastic, but I like the color and I like that it's got the Christmas tree winter scenes on them. So I will add them to my Christmas tree. I'm trying to get my Christmas tree just, just loaded with ornaments next year. I know it takes more time, but I don't, I just, something about, it's just beautiful to me when it's, they're just heavy with ornaments. And then I bought this for my gallery wall. Um, I said it was Valerie Kurikov. Looks like it's still got a coal sticker on the back that it was $40 and I paid six, but this is going on my gallery wall when my hobby room is finished. I love this. It reminds me of the purple lilacs I used to collect at my grandma's. My grandma had lilac bushes and I would go, my mom and I would go and gather them by the arm loads and take them in and the house would just smell amazing and nothing says spring summer to me more than a bunch of purple lilacs and I do mean purple. The ones that are white, that's just a lie. Only lilacs that are right are purple ones. <laughs> so that's just my personal opinion. If you're a white lilac lover, you do you, but for me it's purple, purple, purple. So there you go. And then the last thing I found was this box of, it was a box of plastic, old plastic nativity. I don't know if I'm going to, cause I've seen some ideas of what people do with them or if I'm just going to set them out, but, and they're a little bit dinged up, but I just, I love the, I love that they have a story. So we got a wise man and a wise man, and I'm missing one of the wise men, cause I'm assuming this is not another wise man. Maybe it's a shepherd with a fedora. I don't know. I just find that kind of odd cause I don't know who that is. Then we have a couple of angels, which also show somewhere. Looks like one of the wings is broken, but I don't care. I love that they have that kind of story behind them in that age. Then we have, whoops, stand up now. We have a cow and a donkey. Then we have I have a couple of sheep and their legs are broken, but the legs are in the box. So I'm going to glue them back on. So we have a couple of sheep, crippled sheep like Joshua. And then a couple of baby sheep sleeping or laying down. So I'm going to assume the guy with the fedora is a shepherd. Why not? Then we have Joseph and Mary. And then last, and I'll probably glue him down too so he doesn't get lost, we have baby Jesus. And like I said, the two legs from the sheep are in there so I can put them back on there. But that's my haul, friends. So I will lay them out and if I style anything, not sure what I'll be styling, but if I do, I will share that at the end of the video after the overview of the haul. So let's do a... Uh, I wanted to do a daily bread, so just a minute. All right, our daily bread. Thou hast been a shelter for me, Psalm 61, three. That is very true. Jesus has been a shelter for me. Times when I felt like I had no place to go or no place I belonged, no place that felt like home or even just the shelter from the storms of life, or just a shelter. When you think about what a shelter is, you know, our home is a shelter. It keeps, hopefully, bad weather, bad people, bad things out, and keeps us safe inside. Shelter could be just maybe keeping you warm, keeping you fed, keeping you having a place to lay down your head and sleep and rest. So, he has definitely been a shelter. And I hope you'd let him be your shelter for you as well. That he gives peace that passes understanding. And this time of the way the things are in this world right now, peace is so priceless. And he gives a peace that the world doesn't understand and can't comprehend. Because I think sometimes, and I know I'm guilty of it, of thinking of peace as something that when everything's going my way, when everything's going well and going right and going perfect, I got the spot real close to the store. I found the thrift 
bargain that was worth lots of money and super cheap. Nobody knew about it. You know, um, I got the promotion, I got the house, I got the boyfriend or the girlfriend or the husband or the wife or, you know, whatever it is that you're wanting and you've got it. That peace, that's not necessarily peace. Peace he gives is even when everything's falling apart, everyone, everything's going to hell in a handbasket. When everything is just going wrong and not your way, but you still have peace that's inside that nobody can take from you. That's the kind of peace he gives. And that's the kind of shelter he provides. So thank you for joining me, friends. Thank you for the thrift haul. And I'll share the up close of everything. And then I'll share if I sell anything. So come back and see me for the next state haul. What are you doing, May May? Leave stuff alone, May May. Nosy pants. Sorry, you'll hear the dishwasher in the background is still running. Nice reflection. <laughs>